Radio Beaverton here, and um, I'm out waiting on an appointment, waiting uh, for somebody, so I have a lot of time on my hand, and so I thought I would do another a review. Today's review is going to be a DVD Blu-ray about World War II 360. This is a television document documentary made in 2008. It consists of 10 50-minute episodes. It regards the... Um, it actually follows the carrier Enterprise CV-6 through World War II. So it's a World War II military documentary. It consists of documentary footage, uh, historian and vet, uh, veteran interviews, and computer animation. It widely uses computer animation to recreate scenes, to recreate battles, um, recreate ships and aircraft. The good things about the show is that the, the computer animation lets them show things accurately. You don't have 86 Texans pretending to be um, Japanese zeros. They, you can model anything that can be modeled in their computer animation they can show. They could show uh, Dauntless's Devastators, the Japanese aircraft, the Kates, the Vals. Um, the show is a very in-depth treatment of World War II as uh, experienced by the Carrier Enterprise. It, it focuses right on the Enterprise and um, what they went through, the battles, the Mm, the um, events around that carrier. The material seems very accurate. I mean, I'm not a complete 100% expert. I'm an armchair historian, a totally amateur, but it seems I've read quite a bit in my 40-some years. So it seems accurate from everything I've read. I didn't see anything glaring out of place. They really did a good job with that. They were trying for accuracy. It's an upbeat program. Uh, it, it does talk about the horrors of war. The, the vets talk about losses on the ship and uh, when they got hit with bombs, how terrible it was when crew members got killed. But other than that, it's, it's a very upbeat. I mean, there's no minor key music with violins. It's very much, you know, the, the, the things these people went through to win the war. There's a lot of individual stories in it. They focus on individuals. They'll mention an individual in one episode, uh, such as Bruno Guido, the, or um, even Thatch and Butch O'Hare. But then they'll talk about them, either telling you what became of them if they didn't make it, or if they survived the war, or if they're even interviewing them for the show. They interview a lot of vet, the uh, veterans that were on the carrier or on related ships in the carrier group, and they also uh, interview quite a few uh, knowledge experts. Things against the program is it focuses purely on the U.S. side, on the American side. Uh, nothing, very little is said about the Japanese side. Very little is said about the Japanese. They're just portrayed as the enemy. Uh, so there's no interviews of the Japanese, there's no treatment of the Japanese. Uh, there are some exceptions. They talk about, such as Saburo Sakai, the famous Japanese ace, that because um, he came up against uh, the Enterprise aircraft and he was wounded and shot down, basically, but survived. The computer animation, it's good to me, but it was in 2008. It's now dated. Um, you know, they were using their own, I'm sure, in-house programs, so they didn't have to pay license fees. They're not using the Halo engine or anything, I don't think. So it, it does look a little dated now, especially in the presentation of the human form when they show figures, because the people, the people in the animation look really stilted, and they're not fluid rag dolls like they might be in the mod, the, the newest games of the period of now. Uh, the show, not really strike against, but it's lengthy. There are ten episodes that goes into a lot of depth in every episode. Uh, you, you know, episode about Pearl Harbor, the events afterwards, Waddle Canal, Midway. These all get their own episodes. So it's not really a con, but just to let you know that it's, it's a long program if you want to get through it. In the end, 
I highly recommend it. I really liked watching it. It was like watching a television series. They really link the episodes together well. There's ongoing stories. It's presented very dramatically. It's not dry at all. Uh, if you are at all interested in military, military history, uh, the United States Navy history, World War II, anything like that, you're really going to like the show. I think you can watch it on Hulu and some online uh, services. So you might try out an episode to see if it's your cup of tea. And if it is, I would really, this was cheap. I picked it up, not for very expensive at all. And it, it's really worth owning if you liked the episode. That's why I got it. I saw it online. And then I, I bought it recently for my birthday. Actually, I got myself this. So that's that's all I have today and coming to you on location and thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.